I'll open it to get it done. Would you be in money for Joseph's Zucker? Sure. Yeah. Lucky Deborah. This is Deborah's last night. <laughs> oh. She's been such a star. But he didn't, you know, he can get the prostate gets a double whammy of stimulation, which apparently has quite an effect. Why do you say apparently? Well, because you don't have a prostate or a... Oh, oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just, uh, you, you, you're saying it. Not me. Okay, you're right, you're right. If you're you have right. a prostate, though, feel free to add your own comments. Well, I've been trying to grow one, but, you know. <laughs> you got prostate envy? Yeah. <laughs> um, Hello. Dwayne, how's it going? Good. Hello, Dwayne. One, two, three, four. Talking on Sue's mics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But none of them with big, bouncing, blonde bimbos on the package. That's an alliteration. She just um, had to get that in. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but usually I say bodacious tatas, too. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> I wore black for tonight's show oh. because I am. I hope you're going to wear black. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. The smiling faces, just look at them. Thank you. You made it happen. Thank you. Thank you. you. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> All right, we're gonna cut. <laughs> nice to see you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
I have always looked forward to our nights together. This collective group really is far more a family than anything else. From our leaders, Randy and Julie, to our wonderful host, my honorary Toronto grandmother, Sue, across to the entire crew who feel more like brothers and sisters than co-workers. I have never worked with a production group or on a show like this before, and I expect I never will. For that, I thank you. It leaves me with a high mark of how things really could be in this business. Have a good show, and don't be strangers. Oh, my dollies. Oh, you should take those. <laughs> Put them on the mantle.